In this video, we're going to walk through an example of determining the rate law. When we're being asked to determine the rate law for our reaction, we are being asked to calculate or determine the values of the exponents in the rate law, in this case, the values of x and y. In the previous video, we did this process with some pretty simple examples with some pretty simple numbers. This particular example is also relatively simple, like you could probably figure this out just by visually analyzing it, but I'm going to go through the mathematical process of how we would determine the values of x and y just um, for when you come across problems that are trickier. So our strategy is still going to be the same. We're going to begin by determining the value of x. So that means we're going to focus on a and to focus on a and figure out x, we want to find two sets of data where the concentration of A is changing and the concentration of B is staying constant. So it looks like our choices where A is changing, we could be comparing data sets one and two, or we could be comparing data sets two and three. We want to pick two data sets where B doesn't change. So it looks like we want to focus on data sets two and three because A changes and B does not. So what we're going to do is write two rate laws using the data from set number two and set number three. And we're going to set this up like a big, huge fraction. So I'm going to start with um, data set number two, and I'm just going to kind of mark that this is data set number two. For data set number two, uh, again, we're, we're writing a big, huge rate law using the data from data set number two. So the rate is 1.02. I've left units off of this just to make things easier. And that is equal to, again, I'm just filling in this rate law, that's equal to the rate constant k, which we don't know. For data set number two, the value of a is 0.4 um, to the x, which we don't know. And the value of b is 0.6 to the y. And again, just one more time for clarity, what I've done is taken the data set number two and I've plugged all of that into our rate law and that's what I've written over here. And then we're also, so we're gonna make this a big, huge fraction here. We decided that we were gonna be comparing data sets two and three. So we're gonna do the same thing using data set three. The rate for data set three is 0.254. Again, we're filling in the rate law. That's equal to K. In data set number three, the concentration of A is 0.2, and that's to the X. And the concentration of B is 0.6, and that's to the Y. Now, again, remember, our goal here is to solve for X. So we're gonna take this big, huge math term, and we're just gonna start simplifying it and solving for X. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is cancel the things that we can cancel. We don't know the value of the rate constant, but we know that the value of the rate constant is a constant. So k divided by k is just going to cancel itself out. Also, we don't know the value of y, but it is a constant. So 0.6 to the y divided by 0.6 to the y is going to cancel itself out as well. And so we, have, uh, we can simplify this equation to say 1.02 over 0.254 is equal to 0 0.40 to the x over 0 0.20 to the x. And one of the properties that we have of these exponent equations is that um, if we have like a fraction where both of the terms are raised to the same power, we could simplify that to 0.4 over 0.2 to the x. So that's gonna make this a little bit easier. I'm just going to kind of cross this out so we don't think about that term anymore because we've converted it into this term. And so now we just need to actually just kind of do the math here. 1.02 divided by 0.254 is 4. And 0.4 divided by 0.2 is 2. And we just need to solve for x. And so here we can see that the value of x is 2. So that's not too bad. They're not always going to work out this easy uh, with these straight, this straightforward of numbers, but this is the process that you're going to take every time. So we have figured out the value of x. Now let's do the same thing for the value of y. To solve for y, we want to find two sets of data where b changes, but a does not change. So that means we want to be focusing on data sets one and three. a doesn't change, but b does change. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to write a big, huge fraction using starting with data set number one. The rate for data set number one is 0.127. 
that is equal to k times the concentration of a, 0 0.20 to the x, b, 0 0.30 to the y, now, even though at this point we know the value of x, there's no point in actually filling it into this equation. It's not necessary because remember, we're just going to cancel it out. Uh, we're comparing data sets 1 to, to and 3. So for data set 3, the rate is 0.254, and that is equal to k, the value of a, which is 0 0.20, and the value of y, which is 0.60. Let's cancel the things that cancel. Our k values cancel. 0.20 to the x cancels. This simplifies to 0.127 over 0.254 is equal to 0 0.30 to the y over 0 0.60 to the y. And remember, we can simplify this term as well. 0 0.30 over 0 0.60 to the y. So let's cross this out and let's just solve uh, the math here. 0.127 divided by 0.254 is 0 0.5. 0 0.3 divided by 0.6 is also 0 0.5. And so this we can see the value of y is 1. And that means our rate law is rate equals k a to the 2, because we figured that the value of x is 2 times b to the 1, or we just leave it off times b.